I have always enjoyed the challenge of fitting an entire mountain on a single page. You can't get any uh, clear definition of the cone. So I just cheated a little bit and put in my cone shape there. Mountains are wonderful puzzles, and I knew if I painted with the right amount of detail and care, they would last. I never get my the oil of my skin onto the surface so I can uh, grasp the, uh, the brushes. A good design is relevant for a few years, maybe even a decade, but a well-made map is used for generations. This one is in Utah, so a lot of a lot of Utah maps, and then Colorado. I'm James Nee Hughes. I'm the man behind the maps. And he skiers before me had that figured out. I had not figured out. I was like, wait a second. They all look the same. It's got to be the same guy. And I looked at the signature, and I was like, I've seen that kind of E without the crosshair, you know, that, that without the vertical stripe on. I was like, it, it's just one guy. And so I. I and it's been 30, 30 years, and. Uh, and it was a few years ago that I was being interviewed and it suddenly occurred to me that, golly, I've done 200 ski resorts and every one of them I've painted by myself. It's been a great privilege and it's been one of those uh, things that, uh, you know, an artist, I can't imagine another artist that, that can be as uh, gratified as I am because of the usage of it and because of how people uh, respect it and, and, and uh, dream over it and plan over it and then use it as a map to get down the hill. So, a kid that saw my stuff and started painting them, you know, his style. And that's my first contract. And they're still using it today. It's been a career that uh, uh, I don't know how I could ask for anything else. Uh, it's just been very, very exciting. Computer generated map is rather dry and and uh, and does not does, it doesn't romance the uh, scene and it doesn't pull in the personal uh, experience, if you will, of that scene. I'm now very excited to get into uh, a great passion of mine, which has always been landscapes, and so I'm uh, uh, producing 50 or so uh, of America's iconic landscapes and I guess my advice would be to, for uh, aspiring artists is to follow your dream and you've got to go in there with uh, with with all your uh, uh, creativity and, and your enthusiasm and, uh, and your passion and follow it and just take advantage of the possibilities that come along. 